an outcome of national aspirations wholly manned and officered by Indians, the Indian Air Force Bill was passed by the Indian Legislature on the 8th of October 1932. The early pioneers of the Indian Air Force laid a foundation that was strong and deep. Successive generations have built upon it to make the Indian Air Force into a lethal and potent force, one that has also contributed immensely in building the Indian nation. The IAF was baptized by fire in the Northwest Frontier in 1937. Four years later, it was pressed into action in the Burmese campaign in World War II. It played a major role in beating back the seemingly invincible Japanese forces. In October 1947, raiders from Pakistan launched an unprovoked assault on the state of Jammu and Kashmir. The IAF reacted with speed and established an air bridge to Srinagar, saving the state from the raiders. Since then, the IAF has seen action in every conflict that India has faced. It has also actively participated in United Nations peacekeeping missions in Congo, Somalia, Sierra Leone and Sudan. The Sino-Indian border conflict of 1962 saw the IAF fulfill its limited role of providing transport and logistic support to our troops all along India's Himalayan borders. Again, in 1965, the IAF faced an adversary armed with modern weaponry in an all-out aerial conflict for the first time. It emerged from its hour of trial as a seasoned and battle-hardened force. The 1971 conflict was the IAF's hour of glory. Within the first few days of the war, the IAF had gained a favorable air situation over West Pakistan, which it exploited in the crucial battles of Cham and Longiwala. In the battle for Bangladesh, it established total air supremacy by the end of the second day of operations. The pinpoint rocket attack on Government House Dhaka on the 14th of December 1971 led to the surrender of the entire 92,208 strong East Pakistani garrison and the creation of Bangladesh. Perhaps the most befitting tribute to the Indian Air Force came from the martial law administrator and commander East Pakistan. When asked why he had surrendered his command when his army was still intact, he turned and pointed at an IAF pilot's wings and said, because of this, you, the Indian Air Force. In the Kargil conflict, the IAF played a key role in evicting the firmly entrenched intruders by carrying out precision strikes on enemy locations and logistics nodes like Tiger Hill and Munthudhara. These strikes caused severe psychological degradation and paved the way for the final assault by the Indian Army. It provided all-out support to the Army, airlifting troops, ammunition and vital supplies. This was joint operations at its best. As an important element of national power, the IAF has a responsibility to not only ensure the physical security of India, but also to further its influence in the strategic areas of interest. IAF leadership had foreseen this vision nearly two decades ago. It is the result of this far-sighted planning that has resulted in a metamorphosis such that the IAF will very soon possess the capability to shape any airspace within the nation's areas of interest to defend, to provide succor, or to strike. The IAF is transforming into a force with reach, flexibility and precision firepower. As part of its contribution to nation building, the IAF is also building significant non-kinetic capability to support search and rescue operations, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief at extremely short notice. We will operate equipment that is state-of-the-art and use cutting-edge technology. That said, IAF's study and analysis of war and its consequent doctrine 
have instilled in it the abiding conviction that it is the air warrior who matter the most. For in him, we see the realization of our core values of mission, integrity and excellence. Whether it is a glove thumb that flicks the guard off a trigger in a 200 Pro cockpit or the icy breath of a helicopter pilot on a rescue mission at 23,000 feet or the sweat on the brow of a sergeant when he pulls in a casualty from swirling flood waters, the man behind the machine is the key factor. It is the stern resolve and the cold application of reason when a warrior takes to the sky to combat fearsome odds that give the IAF its capacity to win. And above all, the guiding vision of people first, mission always, that will make us touch the sky with glory. <laughs>